So I have a recreation room. This is my recreation room over here. Maybe I should improve upon it. But, um, it doesn't seem to give that much... What? Why is Vorazun starving? Why? There's so much food. Vorazun, if you're not gonna eat... Oh, oh, never mind. <clears throat> Never mind. Never mind. It's all good, guys. But do they get more stress relief if, say, I would change this thing up? To become a, um... Like, not a water cooler, but like a jukebox, for example? Would they like that better? What's going on, Tech Templar? Welcome to the stream. Now, my, my jupes are not practicing social distancing at all. Now, I haven't tried that out, John Boy. Not too interested in the PvP in Darkest Dungeon, to be honest. Sounds like a fun thing to maybe try out at some point, but... Eh. Oh, duplicates can relax by launching in sunlight? Improves duplicate morale? I can have an arcade cabinet? What? Oh. Okay, so I guess I give them something a little bit better than what they've got right now. We'll give them one of those. And then I guess we can also maybe give them a juke bot or something like that. Did this one need like way more space or something? There was something wrong with that stupid thing. I would like to have two arcade machines, please. Okay, fine. We'll just do one. Um... No idea how much power that's gonna draw. They have Comet Kablam for two people. Dude, there it is. There it is. It looks amazing. I don't know if they're gonna get more, uh... Recreation time right now. Maybe I need to give them an extra hour. I'm already giving them an extra hour of downtime in the first place, though. But I guess I might want to be smart and give them an additional hour. Yeah, I could split up my dudes right now into multiple shifts as well. That way we would always have someone going on. Hey, there it is. It works just fine. Oh, never mind. It's out of energy. This thing pulls a lot of electricity. <laughs> they love it when it's working. They, they're a big fan when it's working. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have this thing then. I need more electricity in order to do that. Uh, they're mostly eating mule lice. Yeah, some of them are eating a little bit better. Yeah, this thing apparently gives an insane, uh, insane amount of stuff. Um, now, I've got a little, little bottle of brine here for quite some time. I don't have a place to store it. Maybe I should create, like, a little place for brine storage. I don't have a lot of it. Might not be a bad idea. A little brine pool. Just a tiny little brine pool. <laughs> Don't know if there's any particular reason for it, but... What's brine good for? No idea.
It's been hanging out there for a long time though. So I guess we just kind of just store it. Because it's probably not helping the decor, the fact that it's like lying there randomly. Yeah, I think you can probably... Re well, you can definitely do something with it. It's not going to just be a completely random thing. Yo, Vorazoom, what's going on with you? Oh my god, why is she so excited? She had food? I don't know why she's so excited about having food. She also did not wash her hands, by the way, as you may have noticed. Ay ay ay. That's her overjoyed reaction? Yeah, yesterday when she was complaining that she didn't have any food. So I guess, I guess she really liked it. There we go. So that's gonna hopefully get rid of this brine over here in the center. I don't know what kind of food we're giving my people, but... <laughs> what? I didn't realize this was a thing that came with the little screen. Wait, how could I create sunlight? Is that something I can create? Do I have, like, ceiling lights? By launching in sun- or launching in sunlight. Is there such a thing as a... A lamp that creates... Sunlight? Is that a research maybe? Sun. I want something that generates sunlight. Window tile? No, no, no. Gifts of sunlight level lux can be paired with a beach chair? Yeah! That's what we want! Probably not gonna be able to make that though, because it's a glass blowing research, and I highly, highly doubt that I have that. But we may as well research it. A sauna, solar panel, and then a steam turbine. Do -do -do -do. It will probably draw a lot of power, yeah. I don't have any 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 light or anything like like that, so it's just Okay, I need something, something for like, um... Is this still a recreation room? Why is this still a recreation room? Oh, it's not. I don't know what I can run, man. Like, uh, do they get more benefits from this? It says increases duplicate morale. I don't know if they get more morale if you have, like, better things. Alright, fine. I'll improve my water cooler setup with two water coolers. They're gonna be able to love it. I can also make some of those park benches for sure. Or those, uh... I wanna see what they look like, because they seem quite fun. They fit perfectly in this little room over here. Um, Apparently it needs sunlight though, but maybe it's just gonna give us less morale boost or something. How much does this cost? Granite? The granite is just additional decor, right? We have tons of granite. It's okay. Dude. They're gonna love this. I wanna see what this looks like. It seems to create like a continuous thing. Hey, fungal spore. That's what we're trying to get done right now. Nice. Oh my god, that's awesome. I don't know if they will launch there, though. Like, if there's nothing, um... Like, the thing is, if there's no sunlight, right? Like, are they still gonna use it? I guess we'll see. We'll, uh, make a little room out of it. Maybe they can all chill there after work, man. I don't know if they're gonna use it. Mm 
Okay, let's have a look. Ah, it's missing a decor item. So this is not considered a decor item. I see how it is. Don't worry. Two statues will do the trick. Can I actually make art? Do I do I have any art? I do have a blank canvas. A landscape canvas? What do I need for this though? Gold amalgam, iron ore, or wolf from might? Don't even know what that is. Seems like copper does the trick. I've got 23,000 copper. I've got 40,000 iron ore? Do I really? I don't know what I need more of. Do I need more iron ore or copper ore, guys? Does anyone know? Yeah, the gold... Exactly, like gold also gives you a bonus, but I don't have that much gold. Hey, look, they're chilling! Dude, she's still high as hell. What's going on with Vora Zoon? Isn't this bedtime though? What are you guys doing? Hello? They're not sleeping! My duplicants are so dumb. Here I was, giving you guys something exciting to do. Fine. Destroy it all. Ay yeah yeah. They're gonna be pissed off now. Iron and lead are far more common. Yeah, they did too much, man, of a great thing. Like I gave them a finger and they took my entire hand. It's sad, but uh Yeah, if that's how it is, we're just not gonna let them chill ever. No chilling allowed in Locopia. Oh, you have to... Okay, I thought this would maybe be behind my current things. No, no, not iron. Ah, damn it. Why are you guys doing iron? Um... It was supposed to be copper. There we go. A metal block? Interesting. Oh, the metal blocks give even more morale. Lead and copper is the only thing I can make that out of. Alright. I'm assuming someone is gonna have to paint that thing as well. Yeah, I wanna... I wanna... Um... I want to give them comfy beds. I need to get plastic for that. Now, plastic refinement is quite tricky. That's what I was saying earlier. Like, um, apparently I can do that, but it's not that easy. It's quite a complicated setup. And um, I guess I guess we'll uh, we'll have a look at that in a little bit. Storage unavailable for abyssalite. Wait, what? Am I not storing any abyssalite anywhere? What's the problem with abyssalite? Could I not just store that in these things? Um, I have no idea where abyssalite would even be located here. Organic? Miscellaneous? Oh, it's under miscellaneous. Nah, my storage is not full. Not yet. I guess I can store that, right? Why not? Doesn't seem to be any risk in that. My storage is almost full, though. So I might need to create, like, a new storage area. I kind of wish they dug up all of this stuff as well. Um... Should I bring this polluted water over in this room? 
I think I will. Hmm. I don't have a lot of polluted water. We need more of it. Which is kind of funny. I don't know why you would want more polluted water, but I seem to have more use for it now. So... We probably want to dig most of this out. There we go. Just dig it all up. What am I doing, Kennedy? I don't even know what that word means. Maybe I am, though. No, no, no. They're not drinking, uh, they're not drinking this stuff, right? I do have a pitcher pump in it, but I'm assuming they're not just using the pitcher pump randomly. I'm killing, um, I'm killing 100% of the germs, though, that is in this water that reaches the liquid pump over there. Nah, we're killing all the, the germs. Like, that's been, like, a big project. Just dig up all of the slime. What are you guys doing? Wait, hold up. She just literally pumped up water only to deliver it over here to the bottle emptier. I don't want them doing that. Why are they doing that? That's why germs are spreading around my base. If disabled, duplicants will no longer deliver bottled liquids directly from pitcher pumps. Okay, yeah, disable that. I have auto bottling enabled. I don't really exactly know what that does, to be completely frank with you. Like, every once in a while I see that it's on, I'm like, oh, we should probably have that. And then... I needed the pitcher pump for something. I don't remember what anymore. I don't think I need it for anything right now. Oh, it was... Yeah, yeah, it was for the tree for the cats. You're right. I actually don't need this thing at all, then. Maybe at a later time I will, but for now... I guess we don't need a pitcher pump over there. We probably want to pump it directly anyway. It's probably be better, but... So how high can they reach? Would this work? I guess it would, right? Just dig it all. We don't want any of this crap. All of the slime needs to go here, man. Do -do 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 -do. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be something that someone's going to paint. I hope so, anyway. That'd be nice. No, I unwrangled the cats. The cats are just doing their own thing now. They're wild. New subscriber detected. Five months already these extra hours because of COVID-19 has allowed me to support my favorite creator also if you have amazon prime you can subscribe for your favorite streamer loco for free once a month she'll complete thank you mar great sellout game there dude 10 out of 10 amazing work mm -mm -mm. Oh shit. That's not great. Can we make like a little... 
stepping thingy magic. That'd be good. That'd be nice. Can you guys make this one, please? Hello? I guess you guys are wearing your suits, so it doesn't really matter too much. Seems a little bit sloppy, though. <laughs> oh my god. That's a long ladder. Shit, guys. Now I'm mixing polluted water with my crude oil. Is that a problem? I have no idea. They're just following instructions? I guess they are, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I can just filter it. I, yeah, so one thing I've noticed in this game that caring for the environment is really unnecessary, man. Just dig it all. Like, everything you see is basically just resources you can't mine yet. But you should be able to. Just dig it all, man. Just get rid of all of it. I know. I know. It's a little messed up, but... So I got a nice little pool of oil here, right? Pretty good. I could definitely continue going a little bit further towards the left here. I still don't really know exactly how I would refine all of this, but... Keep digging. We'll just make like a, a ladder kind of thing over here. Keep exploring. Mother nature, not today. Loco has arrived. It's time to destroy you. Man. Don't know where this is going, but just dig it, man. Just dig it all. What is this? Steam? How do I get steam here? That's probably very hot, isn't it? Yep. Guys? Oh, that's the water that's falling down onto the... Uh, yeah. I see. Yeah, so the oil biome is super hot and it's basically burning up all of the water over here. I don't know where that steam is going to go. Is it going to rain now? Like, are we going to create our own little, like, micro-environment in this place? Wait, why is this out of electricity? What's going on here? Hello. What? Hello. Why is this thing not being delivered? What a weird situation is this, man? There we go. Maybe I should have a little storage of coal over here. Seems like a better idea. Yeah, there might be a little bit too much carbon over here. Also, the chlorine for some reason is moving up. Ah, they just have to hold their breath for a little bit, guys. What's the big deal? Alright, so we're gonna have a lot of steam down here. Look at this diamond! There's fucking diamond down below here, man! Hold your horses! I don't know what we use diamond for at all, but... Seems good. Humans like shiny things, right? We're basically like magpies and all that, right? Neutronium. So this is the other edge of the map. Guys, we did spawn in the center. This is the edge right over here. So that means we can also figure out where up is. So this is like the surface. Luckily you make a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
There's tons of oil up there. Should I release that oil into this place too? I think I should. I don't know if this steam situation is bad, by the way. I have no idea. Nah, just dig this old man. Just dig it all. Okay. Once we've we've digged uh dug all of this, I think we'll be done. Okay, so we're trying to push this side up. No better way of doing it, I don't think. Boiled jupes coming soon? Nah, it's just 100 degrees, man. <laughs> They're wearing spacesuits. As long as we're not digging into the abyssalite, I think it's okay. Like, this shit over here is real hot. But uh, I'm trying to be smart here. This is only 100 degrees. Security door overheated. They're not complaining about anything, though. Like, they're not stressed out. So it... I think it's okay. What? Who made this? That's a masterpiece? Oh, I mean, that's amazing. Beautiful. Pip eggs? Sure. Get some omelets. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. She's still going crazy, man. Poor Azuna's still losing it. Man, I know I'm Dutch and all, but I got a feeling I would make an excellent American. What do the Americans in the chat feel about my uh, longing for all this oil? <laughs> Loco, being an American is real easy. Teach us, said Pipe. Oh, no, no, no. Ballistical. Ballistical, look. I know I know. this is one of the American favorite pastimes to turn every conversation straight into politics. Uh, let's not, man. Not everything has to be politics. Politics is kind of lame. There's times to discuss politics, but I don't think it's right now, man. <laughs> yes. If I ever go into American politics, my tagline will be make America smile again. That seems great. Don't forget to smile! That'll be... It'll be like, don't forget your towel, you know? It's gonna be my running mate, Towelie from... Uh... <laughs> don't forget your towel! Wait, we just have to like record a little bit differently. Don't forget to smile! <laughs> Doo -doo -doo -doo. Am I working at DreamWorks? Yeah, yeah. What? This is a masterpiece as well? The core plus 36? Oh shit, dude. These things are insane. They love this. Uh, I do like the, uh, the art they have and the fact that you can't choose it. Like, that's pretty funny. Yo, guys, I am seeing a big canvas. Are you guys seeing it as well? Let me help you visualize it. 
Okay, I wish it was bigger than that. Story of my life. Wait, no, no, no. Um, okay, I wanted to put up a big ass canvas. I guess we can have a canvas over here. They're spending quite a bit of time down here. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa! Suffocation no longer a problem. Okay. Don't know what happened there, but fair enough. Uh, sometimes the jupes are just in pain temporarily. Apparently that's not a problem though. You would imagine that's a problem, but it's not, guys. I can put paintings down everywhere. Dude, look at my decor. Isn't that isn't that great? There you go. We can just destroy these paintings as well, right? I don't think they get upset when you destroy their paintings. <laughs> Brenda. How long does it take you to get over here? She just runs all the way over here and then she runs back again. Because that's the only thing she gets done in a day. Now, now she goes back down again. Okay, these fire pipes are nice though. Like this fire poles rather, fire pipe. Man, there's so much steam in this room right now. So the problem is we're melting down uh, <laughs> the ice biome, which generates a ton of steam. It doesn't seem to be a problem, but I don't know if it will be. I don't think so. Doesn't seem to be a problem yet. We're destroying the slime over here though, which is nice. Die slime, die! Sorry. Man, this place is huge. This ice biome is really big. It goes all the way up here. I'm thinking about digging up this polluted water and putting it somewhere at some point, but I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. I could get a, uh, a carbon skimmer, maybe. The carbon skimmer did an amazing job when I first headed down here. Maybe I shouldn't have removed it. I actually didn't think it was still gonna look like this. Actually, maybe I don't. These guys only grow in... Uh, in, in no, never mind. We're not gonna do that. Those uh, dust caps only grow in... Um, in um, carbon dioxide, so we probably don't want to go too ham there. Loco, I often put my first industrial stuff in an ice biome to not need cooling. It melts the whole place. <laughs> oh my god. See, I don't know how to really transition to watch all the industrial stuff. That's kind of like the problem we are uh, getting to right now. A spore shit. Zombie spores? What do you mean zombie spores? What the hell is this? Zombie spores? Yeah, we're not going to touch that. That seems bad. So our end goal, by the way, is to dig up. Um, I don't really know exactly what's going on with, you know, the digging up situation. Because I'm not doing that at all. I'm not digging up even remotely.
Mother Nature is getting wrecked, though, so I guess there's that. Fully fueled Atmos suit. Is that the demonic language again? Yeah, I did speak Dutch just now, guys. One of uh, our favorite past times in the Netherlands is uh, demonic speech. We do it relentlessly all the time. I don't think we want to dig into the freaking like red abyssalite stuff. That doesn't seem to be something we want to do. I don't know exactly how far you need to go with ladders. Like, how many spaces do you leave in between here? Because I think they can reach three up and three down, can't they? So is this like... Would this work? So this is like five squares in between. That seems like a lot. We can give this a try. I think this should technically work. Oh, well, I don't necessarily need this, I guess. Seems like a lot. Yo, Sashi, are you okay, man? I see you're posting, uh, I don't know what you're posting in Twitch chat, but it's, uh, what's going on here, buddy? <laughs> another pipsqueak! Screw you, Hassan, screw you, ape, screw you, Nils. We want another pipsqueak. Loco, how was the dude cold that you got those builds from the water treatment from? Oh, um... Hold up, let me see if I can find it for you real quick. Oxygen, I think I can maybe find it in my... Um... Oh no, I can't find it in my YouTube history. Oh, I don't remember what the guy was called. For some reason, it's not in my in my YouTube or in my, in my search history. I don't know why. Look, I never check your search history. Why not, guys? I'm not sure, Yui, sorry. Does anyone know what the guy was called that we copied this little section from? Something Fox? Yui is looking for him. Um, hold up, I can, you, I can look at my YouTube history, I guess. Something Fox? Okay, well, Fox doesn't get me anything. Oxygen not included. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, I found it, man. Here we go. I'll post a link to it in the chat. It's called how to make a compact actu electrolyzer room. So how to make a compact electrolyzer room. Oxygen not included tutorial. There it is. I posted a link to it in the chat. That's the video I copied. Did the trick. Video unavailable? What? Let me try again. Wait, no, 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 hold up. I think I linked something wrong. Oxygen. There we go, there we go, there we go. Does it work now, Yubi? It will probably link a timestamp. I tried to remove manually the timestamp out of the video, but I think I did it wrong. It works now? Ah, there we go. Look at why are your moderators such an annoyance? Wait, are you insulting my moderators? Oh, that's not very nice. We've had the same moderators here for years, man. I think they do an amazing job, actually. It works now? There you go. Look, if everyone else thinks the mods are awesome, and you have a problem with the mods, maybe the problem isn't the mods. Oof. Oof. No, no, no. I don't like thinking in that direction, Loco. I don't like it, man. Let's make a little pit over here as well to catch this junk. Hmm. 
Nice saving game. Sometimes the game saves and then it messes up whatever you're queuing up at that point. Mm -mm -mm. You posted a link? Oh, there's auto removal on links posted by people that aren't subs here in the channel. That's not because, like, I'm being a jerk and I only want people to, like... That, like, some people think that that is me being an ass. Um, the truth is that every once in a while, people come over here... ...to post links to all kinds of viruses in the chat. Which is not cool. Not a big fan of that. Um, so the way we've prevented that is by making it so that you have to be a sub before you can post a link. If you're not a sub, and you want to post a link, the thing you can do is just ask a moderator for permission to post a link, and then they will manually give you permission for the link. Um, I mean, we haven't ever gotten to the point yet where someone wants to be an absolute ass and link something, uh, you know, that they probably shouldn't be linking in Twitch chat while simultaneously being a sub. So there's that. That's that's the reason. There's There's <laughs> no ill intent there. But um, whenever LocoBot gives you a timeout, though, which probably was LocoBot that did that because he automatically removes the links, he also explains why you got a timeout. So, like, you never get a timeout where you don't know what's going on. It's either the moderators explaining what's going on. Okay, and that's not entirely true. Sometimes someone will time you out for being an absolute ass, but that's only me. I'm the only one that sometimes just, you know, I have no chill sometimes, okay? If you say really stupid shit, like, sometimes I'm just gonna remove your message and just not not tell you why. But <laughs> for the most part, um, you, will, you will know what's going on. Why does this not disappear? Man, this is a very long line. <laughs> is this ever gonna is this ever gonna connect? Like I feel like we've we've set this task quite some time ago. They spent half the day getting to the location. New subscriber detected. What's going on, Crow? Thank you very much for your 27 months. Yeah, I don't know how e how easy it is, I guess, in 2020 to get viruses from links and all that. I'm pretty sure that all of the... Like, if you're using, I, I don't know, like Google Chrome or Safari or so, you're probably already safe from pretty much everything. I mean, it's in Google's and, and you know, Apple's best interest if you don't get viruses, but it might be easy. I don't know. Look at this! What are you doing right now? No, 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 don't tell me you're gonna go all the way back up! Oh my god, the Haka, you literally mined one little clump. Wait, what's his problem right now? He goes all the way back! He mined one little clump. Do I have proximity priority enabled? Wait, how do I do that? Proximity priority? He has very, very high priority for digging, so I don't know why he went up there, man. Proximity priority? Enabling proximity settings tells my duplicates to always choose the closest, most urgent errand to perform. That seems like a very good idea. I'm assuming that would probably made him actually stay around here for a little bit longer. He 
Yeah, they do very little here, man. It kind of sucks. I should probably have some more storage down here as well, though, right? Yeah, I need to make some storage down here for sure. What am I going to store in here, though? Everything? I know I can put this all on a higher priority, yeah. I mean, I guess we can put this on a higher priority. And this one, too. Okay. So, what I was talking about earlier today... We can just sort of let this run in the background, I guess, right? Because it's going to take him a while to, like, do all of this. And I don't really need to queue up any additional commands anymore. I don't think they're going to go on idle. Um... And we're back. I found this little video. So this is basically a video that explains how to go from the early game into what is apparently considered the mid game. And you need oil for that. This seems like a good idea to look at. With a quick tutorial on oxygen not So this is a guy called Francis John. I believe he is like very well known in the oxygen not included uh, community. Apparently he's like uh, the main guy included and this tutorial is all about getting from the early game to okay okay hold up hold up hold up the early er, er, what did he say er, early do we want this i don't think i want anyone else man do i want someone else early his guides are very good it does look cute it looks cute we take it Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. A cook plus doctor. That is... Not a bad idea. Cannot do building errands. The Slicksters are nice, Loco. But doesn't he just die, though? Because I, I can't put him anywhere. I can maybe bring him all the way down. I don't know, man. They can convert carbon dioxide into crude oil. Okay. But how am I going to put him anywhere? That sounds like an amazingly good conversion, but I can't even do anything. Eats carbon dioxide, excretes crude oil. I need a rancher in the tech tree. Guys, this is not what we were doing at all. I have the... I have the... He's not a fish, right? <laughs> I guess we can do a critter drop off all the way down. Like we could have a, a, a critter drop off all the way over here. But I can't wrangle him though, so like how do I bring him back up there? There's no wrangling option. I can wrangle these. Look, if you keep him around, he's just gonna excrete it on the floor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I don't want him to just poop freaking oil over the, f over the floor here. That's a terrible idea. I think I might just kill him, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, I have no use for him right now. You can mop it. It's fine. Okay, fine. We'll keep him around for a bit, but... Okay, so while they're doing all this, let's watch. Mid game. An early game I would define as... You've got up a stable food source. You've got yourself up an electrolyzer. Maybe not one quite as gigantic as this. You may not need something that industrial. 
and you've got a water source to feed that electrolyzer. So you've got sustainable oxygen, you've got pretty sustainable food, and you could coast along like this quite happily for several hundred cycles. But how do you get into cooling? How do you get refined metals? How do you get plastics? You've got to start worrying about those things all now, and yeah. there seems to be this uh, learning cliff. I, I can't really tell where his accent is from either. It's like Irish or, or like maybe an English accent somewhere. Is I don't it was know. described by uh, one of someone in the comments? Where, how do you get from here to that first steps, to those first steps where you get plastic, refined metals, and uh, cooling all up and running? So in this, I just want to go through how you do that. And the main tech is Atmos suits. Atmos okay. suits allow you to really get out there and gain access to resources that before were unavailable due to heat and just inhospitable environments. So in this example, I've got a, normally what I do is I like to make one square base and have one Atmosuit dock exit. And usually the right hand or left hand side of my base is sort of where I went out and grabbed some extra resources just to get to the sustainability level that we're currently at. So in this instance, we're going left so that we can do some more yeah, some okay. more excavation yeah. out here to get more We've resources. done all of that. All we're looking for is a source of cooling, as in a big pool of liquid to dump heat into so we can get our steel. Or, and we also want we to have get a our cold hands biome? some oil so we can make plastic. Now, of course, you could get your plastic from using Drecos, but I can't cover all the options. So we're going to assume you have oil or some source of oil somewhere on the map. We have oil. To presume it's at the bottom. Atmos suits allow you to ignore extreme heats, uh, extreme heat, cold, uh, germs. Well, germs you can pretty much ignore anyway. Um, but it also allows you to ignore oxygen problems. So you don't have to worry about getting enough oxygen down to an area to keep your duplicates oxygenated, which means they can dig, dig, dig and dig some more. And you don't have to worry about going cutting in a straight line, which is exactly what we're doing here. We just want to go straight down and grab some oil. We don't care about anything else that gets in the way. We're just going to dig straight through it. Well, unless we run into some neutronium or, say, a giant pile of really boiling hot uh, obsidian over there. I remember that from when I, uh, I started this map. Anyway, we're just going down here to get our hands on some oil. Is this we have lots of oil. We have to keep digging. Oh, okay. I may not remember everything. It turns out this was a very difficult way to get down to the oil biome. There's turns out there's a volcano right here. There's another one right over here. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. So instead, I took a slightly alternative route, and we came straight down here. And then, yeah, we're going straight down to the oil biome. Hey, and then okay. Just dig out each so side. this is this is basically what we have right now, right? This is basically the situation we are in. So we got the early game kind of done. We've kind of maxed that out. Now we want to start producing. What is it? Steel and plastic. I think that's what he said. And I have the game running, by the way, in the background, so I don't know if this is going to be a problem. To all the pockets of oil you can find, all the localized ones you got. There's there's plenty of oil pockets usually around the place. You can usually keep digging through and just finding more and more. This has given us a nice big stockpile of crude oil here, which we're going to use for, well, we're going to dump heat into this because we don't care. So we're going to dump a bunch of hot stuff into this and use that to refine our early steel. To facilitate that refinement, we're going God. to put a metal... I, I believe it's the Irish accent, right? The Irish accent is awesome. Sorry. To refinery up here. Completely irrelevant to the video, but... And I'm not even making this one out of ceramic. You can do it with igneous rock. It'll have an overheat temperature of 90, so maybe don't put it in the oil biome. Close to the oil biome is fine, but usually not directly in it because the oil biome can get up to close to 90 degrees in it. Okay, okay. So he's got a, a metal refinery, produces refined metals from raw... Metal ore. Okay, let's get started with that. Let's get started with that. Um, so a metal refinery. I don't know. Probably under refinement, right? I don't even have that. Metal refinery. Yeah, we need this. Let's just research in that direction. <laughs> Lots of oil, we should liberate that. I mean, we're trying to get out of this planet, so that seems fine. You can liberate this place. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh yeah, if I had H, apparently I go all the way back. Look at that, Tiger's making some food. Nice. Okay. It might overheat. Now, for the liquid pump down here, I'm using gold amalgam, because gold amalgam has an overheat temperature of 125. Okay, so he has a pump inside of the oil. At that refinement, we're going to put a metal refinery up here, and I'm not even making this one out of ceramic. You can do it with igneous rock. It'll have an overheat temperature of 90, so maybe don't put it in the oil biome. Close to the oil biome is fine, but usually not directly in it, because the oil biome can get up to close to 90 degrees, and it might overheat. 
So this is crude oil, right? Just to double check, that is what we have down below here, right? Crude oil, yeah. So I guess we can put our f refinery thing right over here somewhere. That's totally fine. Like we can, it's probably gonna need to uh, be cooled down quite a bit. So we can just maybe dig out this little bit right over here and that should do the trick. Okay, so we need to make a pump. A liquid pump, that is, of gold amalgam. Overheat temperature plus 60. So wait, how am I going to run that that electricity cable? Pump down here, I'm using gold amalgam, because gold amalgam has an overheat temperature of 125, and that should be fine inside this oil, unless you have an abyssalite break and the magma has done something nasty to your oil. Now, if you do not have access to gold amalgam on your map, then your next best bet is to find something like, uh, yep, one of these salt biomes or a slime biome. I have it. In a minute. That's done. We still need to hook up a power supply. And to hook up a power supply, I'm just going to recommend a couple of local coal generators. Now, in this instance, I've built maybe not so local. I built them over here because I'm going... Okay, okay. So we want to make some coal generators then as well. Okay, so we'll build that. We'll build them right over here. By the way, um, I can just put whatever here, right? Uh, should I make this sweep only as well? So we only get like things have actually sweeped over or s s swapped <laughs> We have lots of lots of debris I have so much water there I can go for hydrogen Well, the water is coming here because of the ice But I, I don't know how to do this right like I know some people know what the hell they're supposed to be doing here I have no clue Maybe I should make like a little separate pool over here for uh, for the water. Maybe that's a better idea. So we can make like a separate area here for the water. There we go. Yeah, the guy, the, yeah. So in the video, we just get like professional backseat gaming. Exactly. That's the way to do it. I feel like they spend so much time though running around, guys. Takes them forever to get anywhere. All right. So this is going to generate quite a bit more oil over here. Oh, come on. <laughs> I set this task ages ago. Sudden hammer is idle? Wow. Didn't think it could be done. Maybe I should make another one of those Atmos suits. We'll destroy this one and then we'll make like one more Atmos suit kind of thing. Yeah, I can put anything. Like, I can put um, uh, a lot of things on high priority. That's not really the point, though. You can put everything on high, uh, high priority, but <laughs> that doesn't really help out very much. Do they even have germs on their hands when they get out of here? Yeah, I guess they do. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, if you put everything on high priority, nothing is, exactly. We'll make two more Atmos suits. Did I already make one? No, I didn't. We're out of copper? I need copper. Okay. 